hey Fred, a couple other players, a couple of your teammates have been in there kind of emotional about the fact that this season is coming to an end. It's a relief, but also the fact that you might not have the same players there next season. How do you look at that? How do you kind of wrap your head around the fact that it could be a very different next season? Well, I think every year it's a it's a brand new team. You know, we might have a lot of the same core guys, but the league is constantly changing. And, uh, you know, obviously this year is very unique in the fact that we have a lot of free agents that need to be signed. And, uh, you know, I'll let Kyle and John have to, you know, address that in the offseason. That's, that's their job. And, um, you know, I, I just know how how proud I am of this group for fighting this year and every single one of those guys are my brothers. You know, I, I love every single one of them. I also understand the business side of it. And, um, you know, we have a strong core group. We're going we're gonna to keep this thing going. And I know the guys that we come in with next year are, are going to come ready to go. You know, we got the right mindset and, uh, you know, the right guys in, in this building for sure. Fred, you, got, you guys have made it back in that building for the first time in over a month. What is it like to be there? What was it like touching down late last night, being back in the Bay? And then how, are you going to be sticking around there? Are you going down to Southern California for the offseason? What are your plans? Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. I'm not going to lie. It felt like this was like uh, we were at an away game or something. Like It was like we hadn't been here in so long. I almost forgot what it looked like being in the locker room and uh, you know, driving up to the stadium, but uh, just such a, a sigh of relief just to be back home, you know, just to even get back in my own apartment, in my own bed. It, um, it was it was great. But um, moving on to, towards off season, I'll stick around for a little bit. But I'm I'm uh, training in Southern Cal um, shortly, and I, I come back and forth training here with the with with this staff and down there just to kind of mix it up. But uh, I'll be I'll be back and forth. Hey, Fred, I want to ask you about your contract. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you. Um, <laughs> you had, you know, I'm sure you have motivation coming into this year uh, just about, you know, hey, I'm a pro, I'm a pro, you know, I haven't been recognized as such. Um, now that you have, uh, well, I assume all pro, but, um, you know, but now that you've kind of gotten this recognition, I know you said last night, you know, I want to be 10 times better. Um, do you have to, you know, I'm not sure if you're an athlete that kind of works like this, but do you have to find, you know, okay, what's going to fuel me now? What's going to drive me this off season, um, to accomplish whatever it is your goals are? Um, well, the, the pro bowl and the all pro stuff like that, those are great, right? That's something that you want to achieve as individually, uh, in your game and, uh, to be recognized in the pro bowl and hopefully in the all pro team you know that's that's great that those things are not what fuels me to play this game at at the highest level that I can you know I'm, I'm playing this game for my family first and foremost um you know I play this game for respect you know ever since I came to this league that's all I ever wanted was respect and respect amongst my, my peers most um you know most definitely that's that's my highest priority is when I step out on the field I want them you know it's I'd rather be respected than like, you know, and I, when I step out there, that's what I'm going, that's what I'm playing for is that respect. And ultimately I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. I'm not, I'm not playing for Pro Bowls. I'm not playing for all pro. I'm playing for that ring on my finger at the end of the year. And that's what hurts the most, <clears throat> uh, you know, end of this season knowing that we don't even have a shot at it. It, it kills me. It, it truly does. And, um, you know, just kind of seeing those, the graphics, everybody making the playoffs is last night and, you know, who's in, who's out, and knowing that we have no shot at it, it it's, it's been eating at me. And it's going to drive me that much more heading into this offseason, knowing that, um, you know, when you have that, you've been there, you you played in it, it, it's just so much different, you know. And then the following year, not even have, have a shot at it, it's it's sick, you know. And so that's why I'm going to come in uh, this offseason. I know it's going to be my best one yet. I have no doubt about it. I know I'm going to be very meticulous in the way I go about it. Everything can be planned out step by step, and uh, you'll see a completely different player next year. Hey, Fred, as as a captain and, and somebody who's on the leadership council, what, what's Jimmy Garoppolo's uh, – how would you describe Jimmy Garoppolo's role on, on that leadership council and, and his captaincy, and, and how important is he to the locker room in your view? 
Uh, Jimmy's one of the most natural born leaders I've ever been around since the moment I stepped onto this team. He was the one that guys look to there, there, you know, there's certain points like before a game or after a game where, you know, guys are, are talking to the team or bring the team up. And he's, he's num like for sure. One of the number one guys that guys look at to, to, to see that, that leadership role and to step up in those moments. Um, and that's what you got. That's what you got to expect out of your, your franchise quarterback. Um, you know, he's, he's a huge, part in, in that sense uh, and as, as a player as well you see what uh, the record is when he's on the field compared to when he's not on the field and and stuff like that so uh, you know I, I got a lot of respect for Jimmy and, and love, love him to death for what he's done for, done for this team. Fred you were uh, mic'd up for that week nine game and um, Aaron Rodgers afterward famously uh, complimented you um, before you guys went into your separate locker rooms. I'm just wondering, was that sort of a, a common th theme um, th this season? Did, did you often talk with the opposing quarterback? And um, I'm not asking you to um, drop compliments on yourself, but what, what, what were the, the things that those guys would say to you if you did, you know, including uh, Russell Wilson um, yesterday afternoon? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, every, each, each guy I've gone against has showed their respect. And, um, you know, just going out for the coin toss yesterday with Russ, he, you know, he told me how, how great of a year I've had and how, how, much, how much fun it's been to, to compete against one another. And, you know, obviously I, I feel the same uh, in terms of him. And he's been doing it for much longer than I have at such a high level. So I've got a lot of respect for Russ. But, um, you know, that's kind of just been how it's been all year, just the mutual respect amongst amongst peers and, um, you know, at, at the, like you said, a quarterback position. Hey, Fred, Fred, with all the injuries and, and moving pieces you guys had on defense this year, it felt like you had to be a little bit more adaptable, maybe more multiple and doing different things than you might have even last year. How can that serve you well uh, going forward, and especially if you have a new defensive coordinator? Um, you know, just – the more you can do is the more valuable you are, I guess. And I try to, I try to do anything I can for the, for the team, uh, for the defense, anything they need me to do. I'm, you know, I'm obviously willing to do it and try and do it at the highest level to try and help the team win games and play the defense play at the highest level it can. Um, you know, that's just, that's just what I bring to the table, I guess. I don't, I don't know what else. Uh, just with pass rush and, and the, you know, the responsibilities and coverage and the run game. Whatever they ask me to do, I'm going to do it. Hey, Faithful, don't forget to click here to subscribe to our YouTube.